hello hello welcome to a new vloggity vlog um i just did my makeup and i am watching h3 podcast right now ethan is like having a civil conversation with pearl davis which is like this person who has the craziest like opinions on things so it's funny when ethan like debates i don't know how he does it especially in front of such a large audience of over forty thousand people at one time because uh, i don't know i just don't know how he does it so i look up to him for that but i wanted to open one of these um a subscriber sent it to me it's just a little like affirmation for the day or whatever it may be and i just feel like they usually fit pretty good like based on how i'm feeling or like sometimes i'll ask a question before i open one and right now i just want to know like how's my day gonna go failure is the opportunity to begin again more intelligently henry ford said that oh my gosh and i always keep these i actually keep them in my wallet so yeah i don't want to throw them away i just i love this gift so much so i definitely fuck with it so right now in the microwave i have some of these morning star chicken nuggets they're veggie chicken nuggets this has like been my fixation lately i've been obsessed four of them is a serving for 190 calories and then over here i have a few ingredients for a taco soup that i will be making tomorrow so if i remember to vlog it you guys will definitely be seeing that okay so i just got done with my uh veggie nuggets so good like i dipped them in a little bit of ranch it's so good so i want to give an update on timu as you guys know i bought a bunch of like makeup makeup brushes da -da. and the only thing that i'm keeping when it comes to like the makeup area of what i bought is this brush um i'm gonna actually clean it before i use it but a lot of people said do not use the makeup um cheaply made something about like rat droppings are in it and i said girl <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me using that then so i had to throw it all away um normally i would not do that i would like give it to someone else or like goodwill actually takes used makeup which is really weird whatever i might not agree with that but they do take it um they also take used underwear yikes but if i don't want to use makeup from timu why am i gonna have someone else use it just in case like there is something wrong with it i don't want anyone to get like an infection or a rash or whatever but i do want to keep this brush so i am gonna clean it um before i use it because i really like it i think it's cute um it's super soft i like how it feels and stuff so i am gonna clean it and make sure you know your girl's gonna be okay Okay, you guys, so this is my P.O. Box pile. I'm gonna grab a couple things and open them for you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna do this um, as I stand at my standing desk. So first thing is a ton of earrings from someone named Coco Bear. So I wanna show them to you guys. We have toilet paper. Look how freaking cute that is. Toilet paper earrings, I am dead. Some oranges, lollipops. These are literal goldfish, like what you win at a carnival or something. It's so cute. Some pink and some yellow flowers. Boba tea. Some butterflies and some fried eggs. Like, look how cute that is. Some cherries. I love me a cherry moment. Some clouds and then some, like, paint. Look how cute. Blue and pink gummy bears. Some mushrooms. Some rubber duckies strawberries bottles of water like how unique is that it's adorable last but not least some green and pink dinosaurs thank you so so much coco bear like these are gonna get some good use next i got some handmade vinyl stickers from Lindsay. so it's hard to see on the camera but it's animal crossing vinyl sticker thank you so much so this is the last one and this one didn't have a note so i have no idea who it's from but it's an iq tester i think i will be doing this because i personally love doing iq tests online and you know what i think i'm gonna give it a go i've never done like a physical one so thank you to whoever sent this 
so here's my p.o box if you guys want to send me anything the only thing that i request is please do not send me any food thank you thank you very much I'm telling you guys right now to run to amazon.com and get some of this crazy Aaron's thinking putty. This is in the super scrub. It's like a beetle, which even on the back of the tin, it talks about it right here and the beetles right there because of the color. This is so good for people that like fidget and just like need something to do with their hands. Like as you guys know, I suffer really bad with excoriation. Um, that's why I have scars all over my body and um, I mainly pick areas that like skin where you can't see so it's like under my clothes and when I feel the need to like pick I just get this out and I'll start playing with it it's so pretty it's gorgeous like it's all of a sudden green and then purple and then silver it's just so pretty but doing this is such a good distraction oh my god I recommend that's why I have a bunch of like fidget type of things but I will say that by far this one helps me the most by far hands down and by the way something else I noticed that I also want to mention is like my attention span is really short it's really bad um, but I noticed that when I am messing with this I'm able to focus better on like just an example, say I'm watching like a YouTube video, I'm able to focus better or like a TV show or a movie and not only better, but longer. I just really feel like I constantly need to be doing something with my hands and this is a winner. I also got the thinking putty with like the smiley faces in it. Um, This one's okay, but like you definitely like feel the smiley faces like hardcore, like a lot. And I don't know if that would bother some people Wow, this one doesn't even want to stretch anymore. I said, I am over your sh There we go. So that's what this one looks like, which is definitely not as good as this one. So right now I'm just cleaning a little bit in Feline's bathroom. Uh, we do have our own bathrooms, which this apartment is amazing. Own bathrooms, we have an office. When we do move, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss her for sure. But I wanted to show you guys because Feline has a, like a watch collection that she's starting. We both like to surprise each other with gifts. So I surprised her with new watches. These are like 30 each. They're not like expensive by any means. But I wanted to show them to you guys because they're so pretty. Let me just actually take them out. So this one's green and the face of it is black. And then this one's brown and the face of it is also brown. It was like a coffee color. I just think it's so gorgeous. So this is what they look like. It's so pretty. She loved them, of course. So I also want to talk about, cause it was on my mind. Uh, my last video, how I said that I gained some weight and I wanted to talk about how much, hold on, my friend texted me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so funny. She's in the middle of telling, this is my friend. She's like, I don't like your live streams as much because she's like, you're not your, like you're not yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And she was like, you just seem like you have so much anxiety. And she's like, I like your vlog so much more because you seem more like yourself. And I'm like, I agree. Um, live streams are just like, not for me. I'm not saying I'll never do them again, but I just noticed that like talking in front of a bunch of people like, live in real time gives me so much anxiety and I'm just not myself at all like authentically why do I look I look so ghosty hold on let me fix this is this better no not even close I just do not look this pale in this white in person I promise it's because I'm back to using my camera again and for some reason I just cannot figure out the settings based on like the lights because like every light in my apartment is different so like some lights I look like my normal color. Other lights, I look just super pale. I don't know. So anyways, yeah, I was talking about how like I gained a few pounds and people were like, why don't you tell us a number? You know, I wasn't really thinking about it and that is a good point, but I gained three and a half pounds, sadly. Of course it could have been drastically worse, let's be real. I just noticed that like my off track now is so much better 
than like what my off track used to look like. So I'm just like really proud of that. But I weighed in today and I was 524. So it was nothing super drastic, but it was enough to just like kind of make me realize, okay, you know, we're going down the wrong path here. I'm trying to talk about this with my therapist is like, I escape, I want to escape bad emotions, bad situations. And by doing so, I'm escaping with food. And so we're just finding like coping mechanisms to stop myself from doing that because it's just like, I'm over it, I'm, I'm over it for sure. And it's like, I was weak this last couple of weeks. Oh, my real color is coming in just a little bit. I don't know how it changed or shifted, but <laughs> it's getting a little bit better. And it did it by itself, I don't understand, whatever. But yeah, I was just like weak and I, I'm not, you know, full of strength. And I talk a lot about like sitting with the discomfort, like I can't always do that. And I'm learning more and more every single day what my triggers are, what creates me to turn to food. And I think as long as I like continue down the path of just like learning, accepting, processing, learning from mistakes and changing for the better, that is like the ultimate goal here. Time check. 6.42. Hi. Hi. Oh, such a good girl. Yeah. All right, so it is time for dinner. We have some broccoli, some white rice, and this is chicken here and it's a sauce that Feline made it's honey soy sauce hot sauce um and some other things some sesame seeds i don't have the full recipe but maybe one day we can show you but right now i am about to eat i am so hungry oh my god i don't even know where to start let's try the chicken oh it smells so good we take turns back and forth like last night i cooked she cooks tonight i'll be cooking tomorrow Mmm. So good. Wow. Cooking back and forth with your partner. It's actually really fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We've been enjoying it. And I don't know what it is. When she cooks broccoli... It tastes like gourmet. Like, ma'am, what'd you do? So good.